Hello, Earth Signs. I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's motherfucking moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, for the weekend, Earth Signs, let's see what's going down. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Massage for the gods for the weekend. Uplift the cards. <laughs> All right, so Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, let's see what's going down, my babies. Yes, give it to me. Yes. Capricorn, let's see what's going down off top. I'm going to get your overall vibe, and then I'm going to pull the Romance Angels and uh, how they feel about you, who's coming towards you, what you don't see, all right, any other things you need to look at. Y'all know how I do, okay? Impossible outcomes. So, Capricorns, here we go, babies. We got the judgment energy off top. Also, you have the three of cups. So, a lot of you guys could be outweighing some sort of, um, could be an invite for some of you all. But I'm feeling like you could be dealing with family and friends that you're trying to uh, really concentrate on making it balanced, okay? Because somebody could be going through some shit here. That might be causing a little bit of family ruckus, all right? <laughs> could be a situation or finality that you're getting ready to uh, break. This could be some circumstances. Like I said, you're getting ready to break it because of this queen of swords here. It could be a situation you're getting ready to cut off. Or you could just be standing in your power, okay, Capricorn? Um, I do feel a lot of you guys could be dealing with a possible uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here so far. I feel like somebody could be making some things try to work. Could be someone who's at a distance, but I do see here that there is definitely some passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, Capricorn. All right, now could be meeting a hump this weekend. Get some sexual energy off. For some of you all, you could be making your, uh, you could be having an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Or for some of you all, you could be committing okay to make your commitment ascend to a higher level could be through sexual energy here for some of y'all there could be a reconciliation on this way to you someone from your past is returning to your motherfucking life so also keep an open mind your soul may be different for your usual type and expectations so could be that uncle fester some of y'all could have a club foot one of y'all could have a missing eye. I don't know. So, we're about to find out what's going on between you and your partner. How they feel about you. How they view you. Let's see what's going on, Capricorns. Capricorns. Off top. We'll get one shuffle in real quick. Definitely could be done with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this person is definitely viewing you as somebody who needs to give back a little bit more. There could be uh, some differences between you guys traditionally that could be different here. Or you guys could have some cultural backgrounds or cultural differences, okay? I feel that there's definitely going to be some clarity between you and this person, even though it might keep you up at nighttime or this person might be staying up at night due to you needing to be a little bit more clear with them. Now, with the emperor energy here, this could be someone who owns their own business. Or someone who's very authoritative. Could be some controlling energy here. Capricorn with the magician and also the emperor. So I'm feeling like this person is definitely viewing you as somebody who could be controlling. Or someone who's trying to come into their power to control a situation for sure. So we had these two cards fall out. The stall energy and also the seven of pentacles. So someone is definitely on the horizon to bringing some renewal towards you. They could be saying that they've worked hard. Okay, but someone is definitely trying to cut some dead leaves off and take what they need to here. Okay, so I feel uh, as though this person could be needing to, they could be either have closed themselves off, gained some insight here. There also could be a situation where this person views you as somebody who's um, 
definitely like block some messages off or there could be a blocked beginning. It could be a loss or some sort of regret that they're trying to come out of. Someone is viewing you this. They have a lot of options to choose from or someone could be getting really greedy here with the options that they do or choose to choose from. OK, so um, some of you all are definitely dealing with a soulmate, romance partner, okay, a love a relationship of some sort. Um, but I do feel um, as far as what you don't see is, is there is someone who's making a move towards you. Okay, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Knight of Pentacles, Four of um, Pentacles. So the Taurus here as well. I feel someone is holding on to a situation or holding on to some things or holding some things over someone's head here is what I'm seeing here. Um, could be a situation that doesn't come to an end or someone wants to make the situation come to a close. Could be due to being emotional here with the Queen of Cups. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like someone is being too motherly as well. You could be letting a situation go with the devil energy here. But this is you, Capricorn. Okay. What you don't see is someone is um, getting ready to... Could be they feel stuck in a situation or they're getting ready to let go of a lot of obsessive behavior, toxic behavior. Uh, you have the King of Swords, also the Chariot energy here, uh, right on top of the devil. So I feel underneath the surface, someone wants to cut a situation off in order to, for them to go back to the past or for them to um, make some forward movements of letting go of a third party or someone that they could have had a connection with from the past. Okay, so... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Um, I do feel like someone is going to try to stay in this situation. What's coming towards you is the Four of Wands. So someone is definitely wanting a foundation coming towards you. They could be wanting some opportunities, some love situations here with the Ace of Cups. Could be love abundance or someone wants to make that love come down in the bedroom, baby, Capricorn. Uh, some of you all could be just thinking of someone who's making an action towards you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. Okay, somebody is definitely wanting to make a love action, a marriage action of some sort. So let's see about possible outcomes. All right, so you have the Seven of Swords. You know the truth about this person. Everything's already out in the open. Um, the plans are already there. There could be someone who's trying to come out of a connection, but they want to come out of the cold with you. Um, definitely could be possible shakedown. That happens with these offers, Ace of Swords, also Ace of Pentacles. So I'm seeing here, Capricorn, a lot of you guys could be dealing with someone who's going to shake that shit up and start a new beginning with you. Could be through communication, all right? Could be through a money offer, but definitely some traveling here. Some Somebody's offering you something, dealing with practicalities, uh, moving, rental agreements, things of that nature. But I see a lot of communication happening here possible outcomes. I do feel like a lot of you guys are getting ready to come into your power. Ten of Pentacles, you could be really taking care of your overall situations with stability. Um, I do feel with the moon energy here, there could be like a mysterious energy here that you're having to go through or someone is having to think outside of the box because it's so mysterious. But there is definitely going to be um, a decision that's made, even though someone could have some insecurities or they're outweighing or trying to juggle multiple situations with the family. Um, but I feel like you guys are grounding yourself, even though there's a decision that's to be made here, especially with these twos. You could be seeing twos or it could be in dualities that you're seeing multiple things um, come to an end and what you need to concentrate on for sure. OK, so possible outcomes. I do feel like a lot of you guys could be receiving some sort of message, possible sex energy here with the Ace of Wands. Could be with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Someone is pretending like they're trying to let go, but to me it looks like they're holding on to you. Could be through sex as well. But I feel a lot of you guys, uh, someone could be dealing with third-party situations um, for some of you all, but I feel like love is definitely on the horizon. To me, someone is coming to rescue you after this victory or feeling like you need to be saved, Capricorn. Um, so be aware of that. I do see a lot of you guys coming out of the cold with someone. So get ready. All right. Here we go, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you off top for the weekend. Mmm, so bomb. All right, here we go, Taurus, for the weekend. Let's see what's going down with Taurus. Here we go. Lover's energy, Hierophant. 
Nine of Wands, Six of Swords. Wow, this is looking absolutely fucking fabulous, Taurus. Some of you guys could be uh, dealing with a lover situation or some love affairs. It could be a relationship that you're trying to share, okay? Also could be uh, some public company that you're dealing with, going out in the public, dealing with other people, companies, things of that nature, uh, family and friends, especially with this Aquarian energy off top. So you could be renewing yourself, your friendships. Um, I do feel with the Knight of Wands, you're going to be making and setting major goals towards your accomplishments and towards a victory here, Taurus. So you guys could be letting go of a possible third party situation with the Three of Wands coming in reverse. It could have been a lot of struggle surrounding you. could have been a lot of choices and options with multiple people surrounding you guys. But I feel like there is love that's going to be in your overall energy with the Ten of Cups. So, happiness, good times, emotional fulfillment, parties, things of that nature, Taurus. So here we go. Romance angels. Let's see what's going down. We got the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Have that talk. Tell the motherfucker how you feel in a nice way. Be gentle. Okay, could be some deception as well. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. We're going to see what's going down with that. Okay. Also, free yourself and pay attention to the red flags. Taurus, stop things. One more. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, Taurus, a lot of you guys could be seeing some real shit here. Um, some of you all could be dealing with a new love and also calling in your soulmate. So, you could be like trying to really figure out what you're going to do once you do see these red flags or things that you've seen over and over again or paying attention to. Um, for some of you all, there's definitely a lot of things that you're healing from, for sure, that you're freeing yourself from. So, let's see what's going down, my lovely Taurus. How your partner views you. Here we go. Uh-oh, we already got cards falling out. So, off top, Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. So, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries also. Possible Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person is afraid to start some sort of renewal or they're afraid to jumpstart some shit here. Could be because of the Ten of Swords. Uh, someone definitely feels like you've been deceiving them or they feel like they're kind of at rock bottom. There's a lot of things that they're getting ready to outweigh with this Two of Pentacles. But with the Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, I feel like someone is definitely outweighing their options between what's going to save them or what could keep them from feeling backstabbed because you have the Seven of sword energy here, Taurus. What's going on? A lot of you guys could have seen the truth, or this person could have seen the truth in you. That there could have been some sort of deception here, or there could be an ending overall with the Wheel of Fortune, and also the Six of Pentacles could be due to family situations or money, giving money out, handouts. Okay, those practical energies could be coming to an end. Somebody who wasn't giving and taking on time and receiving on time. So. They definitely feel like uh, they could build with you, though, with this Emperor energy, also Two of Cups. So a lot of you guys could be dealing with someone that could be new, or this could be someone that you're already building with. Um, but there's definitely a lot of energy that you're going to be feeling pumped of building it together. It could be someone who's older as well. Let's see what you don't see, Taurus. All right. What you don't see is that there's um, someone who wants to make a shot at you. They could be trying to take you out, invite you somewhere. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be someone who wants to come in and out, that flighty type of energy. So be aware of that. I do feel like um, there is someone underneath the surface that is spying on you with this page of swords. Could be possible. Uh, it's definitely toxic energy here, Taurus. Uh, could be someone that's um, having a lot of uh, obsessive behavior, compulsive behavior impulsive behavior here it could be someone who's young because the devil is in between this person and also the page of cups you know that immature type of energy so definitely be aware of that is what you don't see could be some some belief systems that are a little bit different but someone wants to make an action even though they've made a final decision could because of uh there being some differences between you guys but i'm seeing here that there is definitely some sort of sex energy here that this person has wanted to give to you, baby. Okay, it's what you don't see. Who's coming towards you is definitely a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel that they want some sort of equal give and take with this strength energy and the justice 
definitely could be a Libra here as well. So for some of you guys, it could be that person that's wanting that fair balance or decision. But you do have major arcana cards. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for sure is very prominent. And also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel someone is very strong that's coming towards you. There could be someone who is uh, kind of in their head about a situation, but they're definitely wanting to build because they're at a crossroads to me. It's like, damn, what am I going to do for real? Like I'm in my head about it. I've come to a path where I need to make a final decision or make some sort of choice here because I can't go both ways. Okay. I can't split it down the middle. So I feel who's coming towards you is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They want a for sure. Um, they could have left a third party situation behind, but I'm seeing here. Um, someone wants a foundation. Someone wants to build with you with that four of wands. So Taurus, possible outcomes. I feel someone wants to make a move towards you. They feel guilty with the five of swords and also with the page of wands. So someone is really wanting to make a love move towards you, Taurus, even though they feel guilty or they have a lot of worries towards the situation that caused some immature energy here. I feel that they're kind of in between a situation that they have offers to give and they also have offers to think about. Um, the truth is definitely going to be coming out because there's going to be some sharp energy coming out for sure, Taurus. Um, I do feel with the Seven of Wands and the Tower energy, it's going to be a major shakeup, but someone's going to be hanging around. I feel like the shakeup is making a move or a possible third party situation um, that someone is leaving some something behind. Especially with the magician energy here, they could have some tricks up their sleeve with that tower energy. So be aware of that. It's a lot of funky, weird ass energy, Taurus. Um, but I do feel you're going to be successful because this is your card with the four of pentacles and also the six of wands. So whatever the sticky energy is or these renewal processes or these new loves that might be coming your way, there's definitely going to be some like interesting energy you're going to have to step out of for sure. Okay. So, Virgo, darlings, let's see what's going down for the weekend. Here we go. All right, Three of Wands, Virgo, King of Cups. So you could be surveying your kingdom, looking out. Um, you also could be seeing the truth and what you do need to seek out for Virgo. Um, there definitely could be uh, someone who's kind of emotional and they need to be a little bit more confident is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. This is definitely you. All right, could be a third party situation for some of you all that you are seeking out, but I feel you're dealing with someone who's highly spiritual and they will be knowing the truth and they do know the truth. This could be you as well. There could be someone that you know the truth about overall dealing with a third party situation. Some of you all, Virgo, you could be having a lot of frustrations at work that you could be taking out on everyday, you know, tasks and things of that nature. So I do see here that you guys could be putting an ending to a situation that wasn't equal. The will of fortune was that this was a destined situation or it made a complex phase come into uh, a reality for you that you needed to see. So I feel that there could be someone younger near you that wants to start some things with you. The four of wands could be some uh, happily ever after up in this bitch. Uh, somebody is well rested. Could be someone who's younger or someone who's older. But I'm definitely seeing here, Virgo, that there is someone um, who wants to make it right. So let's see what's going down with the romance angels. Because I'm curious now, Virgo. Here we go. All right, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real. Uh oh, Virgo. And worth exploring. This is probably what that four of wands is talking about. Somebody wants that happy home. Some of y'all could be dealing with unrequited love. You just don't have enough to keep this bullshit going or to keep it up, okay? Somebody just doesn't have enough chemistry to make the relationship going. There's going to be a separation for some of you all or your already separated from your partner and I do feel here you're deserving of motherfucking love because your commitments of uh your relationship are ascending okay you're getting ready to go to a higher level of how your commitments are being presented to you is what I'm saying here so romantic feelings for sure Virgo darlings let's see how your partner views you how Virgo's partner views him over the weekend okay so we got the world energy so been around the world now yeah yeah virgo darlings there is somebody who's going back and forth could be traveling as well your partner could be viewing you as someone who's letting go of this uh energy with a third party situation possibly celebrating with family and friends okay it could be some sexual energy here with the devil and also the world you could be traveling 
things of that nature. So get ready for the weekend, baby. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. All right. This person is definitely viewing you as someone who has a little bit of differences. You could be just sticking to your own gun. Okay. You have the two of coins. You know, trying to make a major balance is definitely how they're viewing you. Trying to stay in the traditional uh, type of way of thinking. Also with the justice energy, they feel like um, there is something that is justified or is something that is making a final decision towards a soulmate connection with the two of cups. It's definitely how they feel about you, Virgo. So somebody's wanting to make some forward movement with you. Uh-oh. What card was that? This card flew out. Okay, traveling with the Six of Swords. So this person feels like you are traveling far and far and far away from them. You could be um, definitely needing to... Uh, you could be coming in and out of a connection or in and out of a situation, but you're definitely traveling or getting out and going places. So you looks to me like um, what you don't see is there's someone who's letting go of a third party situation that causes for them to really see the truth about their sorrows and the truth about what they were missing out on. Could be dealing with a possible Pisces with that moon card. Could be some really deep, unknown, hidden things that you haven't quite seen yet. Okay. Uh, definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone that you're resting on, someone that is definitely taking some time away from a situation that could be involved, that could be involving a third party situation for sure with the three of swords or some sort of heartbreak. Okay. Disappointment and frustrations could be because they're at a distance with the eight of cups. Also temperance energy could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Someone who's wanting that multi-balance. Okay. That mental exploration. So I feel uh, what you don't see is that there's definitely someone who is letting go of a situation. It could be that they feel like they've taken too many losses. Possible Gemini, Lib Libra, Aquarius. I feel with this tower energy, they're kind of just closing themselves off altogether. But I do feel like they're blocking communication. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here for sure. Someone has blocked off a complete, uh, you know, all of it. They just like said, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bitch, is what I'm saying here. So, Virgo darlings, <laughs> let's see who's coming towards you. Or anything else we need to see? Seven of Swords. Okay, let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. Wow, so someone could definitely be on the betrayal or some sort of betrayal could be coming up. So definitely be aware of that. Someone is lying about uh, multiple people, possible Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be someone who's carried all the weight or someone who's definitely into the situation that they're being deceptive about. So be aware of that. I do feel like um, what's coming towards you is somebody who has a lot of tricks up their sleeve, but there could be some love offers on the way to you. Could be someone who's into the occult as well, tarot reader, or definitely someone who has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Scorpio energy here. So this could be in your sun, moon, and rising. Their sun, moon, and rising. Magician, Aries energy for sure. Um, you guys could be dealing with like two different people as well. But I'm feeling like uh, whoever's coming towards you is they're wanting to put their foot down. They're either wanting to see if you're going to come or you're going to go. All right. They want to know the truth. Could be someone who is a tarot reader with a high priestess or someone who deals into the occult is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. So that's what's coming your way. Page of Cups could be some messages with someone who's younger than you or someone who has those hazel, beautiful eyes. All right. But some of you guys could be dealing with uh, possible outcomes. There being some offers that you're really contemplating with bringing things together. You got the four of wands energy here once again. So family and friendship is definitely a, uh, it's a major influence here. Okay. Um, I do see that with the star energy and also the leverage could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel like this person could be in two heads about a situation, but I do feel like there is going to be some romance in the air with this king of spears and also the lovers. Um, I feel like there's going to be somebody who's trying to hook up. Okay. Also, page of swords for some of you guys. Someone could be looking on your social media page. Some of y'all could definitely be having to cut away from a situation that you felt a little foolish to. But I do feel overall you're going to get your happiness. Um, you could be having a lot of strength in a situation that caused you to be blocked. But I do feel like you're going to be getting a wish fulfilled with the Nine of Cups energy here. Virgo. So it could be with someone new with this Empress energy. Also, Ace of Swords could be somebody that you're wanting to hang out with. Could be some love offers that you definitely have on the rise. And I feel like there was a struggle. But to get to that struggle, you really got to it with that Ten of Cups, Virgo, and also Ace of Swords communication, hanging out, chilling, getting to know each other. Okay. 
All right, my loves, I'm going to get on out of here. I love you guys. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. And if you need to get the um, specials from me, you can email me at LaRoseBanks at gmail.com. That's four questions for $25 for this weekend. Y'all know how I get down. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.